This is problem 10.7 from chapter 10 of Brigham and Houston's Fundamentals of Financial Management Concise 9th edition. Here we're being asked to calculate the cost of common equity with and without flotation cost. Alright, so the cost of common equity without flotation cost, uh, what we see here we have a D1 we have a growth rate and we have a P0 uh, so we'd be using the discounted cash flow approach K is equal to D1 over P0 plus G the cost of common equity with flotation simply adjusts for the cost of the, the flotation so that'd be equal to D1 over, let's call it net P0. That'd be the price of the stock adjusted to take out the uh, commission you'd have to pay to the investment banker plus G. Okay, so writing down what we have, D1 is $3.18. G is 6%. P0 is $36, and net P0, that is the after paying the flotation cost, cost the net retained from the company is $32.40. By the way, if I want to get my F percentage, $36 minus $32.40 means you're going to pay three dollars and sixty cents commission on every share you you sell so if I was going to divide that by P0 that would tell me that the commission I'd have to pay to the uh, broker would be about ten percent per share that number actually can range is in really low like around one percent to really really high like twenty percent for the big companies of the world, if they're selling a lot of stock, it's it's an easy sell and not a lot of work, so it's closer to the 1% or 2%. If you're selling for a brand new startup company nobody's ever heard of, you're going to have to really hustle to have to sell that stuff, and it'd probably be closer to the, the 15 to 20% range. Okay, so given the numbers we have here, the cost of... equity without flotation would be D1 over P0 plus G. 318 over 36 plus the 6 percent. Or 14.83. With flotation cost, it's D1 over net P0 plus G. Alright, so 14.83 without flotation, that would be the cost of retained earnings. The percent flotation cost, which we ought to call F percent, not just plain F, alright, the flotation cost percentage would be 10 percent, which we computed down here, that's the commission per share and the cost of new common stock reflecting the cost of the commission to be 15.81 percent.